insider, if you like. And it is, of course, today at RTE.ie. Now, our very first makeover candidate of the year came all the way down from Castle Blaney in County Monaghan. Mary Bourne, great to have you on the show. Thanks, Patty. And uh, how long did it take you to get down from Monaghan? Well, I got the bus yesterday, you got the bus yesterday. Um, from Blaney to Dublin, which is an hour and a half, and then I got the train. It's two and a half hours. Because you don't call it Castle Blaney at all, you call it Blaney. Blaney or Blaney. Or Blaney. Yeah. And uh, so, up until now, you have lost uh, over eight stone. Tell us about it. How did you lose all that weight? It's actually nearly ten. Nearly ten. Well, I had ten off, but I've gained about three over Christmas. Oh, you <laughs> So, say, all of us, I'm afraid. But, uh, you, you, you say you have a few more uh, stone to lose as well. I have, yeah. I just want to get down to my target. Yeah. I want to get down to 10-4 and then I'd have lost 10-4. You, 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 10-4 and 10, down to 10-4 as well. Yeah. So how did you go about losing all that weight though? It must have been really difficult, was it? It was. Well, there was a bit of motivation from a lady that was, she used to live beside us and she was very sick and she told me one day that I was gaining weight. Mm -hmm. And then I decided to join a slimming club and um, the lady was dead two hours later. She was dead two hours later? Yeah, she was sick, she was dying, so oh. she wasn't well, so she was my motivation. She was your motivation. And yeah. uh, did you put a 12-week plan together as well? Yeah, I do a programme yeah. um, once a year, which is called Operation Transfogs Nation. Oh, and the fog is there, the local club in Castle Blaine, yeah, I think, yeah, that's right. Yeah, and we do a 12-week programme where we do circuit training on a Tuesday night, and on a Friday night you could do everything from Pilates to yoga. And then on a Sunday we do a 5k run, where we train for a 5k run at the end of the 12 weeks. My God almighty, I feel very bad. <laughs> uh, maybe we need to chat to Yvonne Hogan, because she's, do, uh, she's doing a lot of outdoor stuff later on. Uh, <laughs> so you have a target though, because you have two kids. Yeah. Uh, you have uh, Andrea and you have Thomas, 15 and, and 12. Andrea and Thomas. And Thomas, yeah. and uh, you have a confirmation coming up. Yeah, Thomas is making a confirmation on the 19th of April. Mm -hmm. So this is a target you have set out for yourself, okay, and uh, you're, you're going to get all the weight off, but also all your friends are saying, look, you need to kind of uh, have clothes now to show off your, your, yeah. your, your, your body. Yeah, people are sick looking at me going around on my tracky bottoms and my yeah. tops, you know, so Doug Mons Lynch, make sure that they don't dress you in tracksuit bottoms or trousers. Yeah, you'd be, you'd be a lot happier on them. <laughs> oh, but, I would. I'd be yeah. feeling more comfortable with yeah. the, the outfits that the girls had on me this morning. I, I yeah. felt the baby. Well, well you were going through a lot of them, and you have, a lot, and, uh, have news for you. You have to go through a lot more of them uh, in a small one as well. So the best yeah. of We're looking forward to seeing how they're all at the end of the show. So if you know anyone who deserves a makeover just like Mary, do drop us an email. Today at rte.ie is our email address. You can also find us on Facebook. Over to you, Violet. That's amazing. Nearly 10 stone weight loss. I mean, total inspirational woman there. And we look forward to dressing her, changing her hair and makeup and all that. And you'll see her at the end of the show in her finery. Now, this competition... Answer this question. Now, earlier on, we met our makeover candidate, Mary Byrne from Casa Blaney in County Monaghan. So, we've started the transformation. But Mary, I have to say, I think you're amazing. I heard you chatting to the here earlier on there. And you were saying that you lost, you've lost 10 stone. Yeah. Have, yeah. How many years did it take you to do that? It'll be three years now in March. So over a period of three years you yeah. lost yeah. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that unreal, Pam? Unbelievable. I can't imagine the amount of effort determination yeah. Yeah, that, that take. would take. Yeah. Well, you look fantastic. Of course, Pamela Morris is here from Sobe Brown, our hairstylist. And we are working, of course, on a different style. Your hair is short. But Pam, did you say you were getting your inspiration here from Annette Benning yeah. when you're cutting this Annette style? Annette Benning. I think there's a resemblance as well. Yes. You know, there's a, there's a slight resemblance. Um, Annette Benning's hair is very structured, but there's a very slight edge to it as well. You know, it could be a very simple blow dry. Yeah. Equally, it could be very arty looking. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you've got good hair as well, Mary. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you can you can play around with it. Have you always had your hair short? Yeah, most of the time. I had extensions in for a while, but they didn't stay in too long. How, how, <laughs> how long did they extend? How long were they? Just below my shoulder blade. What? And when yeah. was that? Uh, it was sometime last year. It was around during time last year. Like. I wish you gave us a photo of that. I'd love to have seen that. Yeah. Down to there. Yeah. And you didn't like them? <laughs> no, it just didn't feel comfortable. Yeah. I, didn't feel, I couldn't See, sleep, right? You must suffer pain. Do you not know that? I had extensions. I didn't sleep for a year. I suffered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Uh, you do suffer pain for the first little while, but then you're grand after. Yeah, you get yeah, used to it. You, you do get used to it. You just get used to it. So we're doing the Annette Benning here, and what are you doing? What type of a cutting? Well, I'm doing a very structured, simple, basic cut around the back of the okay. side, accentuating her, accentuating the back of Mary's head okay, here. Okay, so you're lifting it up here a little. this is the feminine part of, yes. a, of a haircut, a short haircut for a woman. 
with the rest of the skeleton bones, yeah, she has beautiful face and great skin. Yeah. I'm going to lift it off, if you remember, in the fittings photo yes. there, I'm going to lift it off the face. And I think it'd be better off her face, to be yeah, honest. I'm just looking at your face. You show your forehead and, you know, show it off, yeah. We're going to get rid of the little bit of grey here as well with Bumble yes. and Bumble hair powder. It just, you spray it on, yeah. it stays on until you wash it off. Um, so, yeah, we'll do the works. The works right. and edge up the haircut. Lovely. And of course that uh, Lancome are here and they are going to do your makeup. So next time we see you you'll be in this in this hot seat again yeah. being blushed. Yes? Okay. <laughs> okay, now Dohi is across the way with uh, Nicky Moulier. Now we're back in the side of the room with Mary Byrne, our makeover mammy, and we are getting of course her makeup done with uh, Jessica Barry from Lancome. Hi Jessica, good to have you back. Thank you very much. You look fab now, Mary, let us see. Oh nice. Now, I know you've got really good skin, it has to be said, doesn't she? Oh, absolutely, she really does. Yeah. Yeah. So as a result of that, you've chosen a um, tinted moisturiser as opposed to a foundation, and also probably because you're on the go as well during the day, Mary, you're busy. So this is a really good one. Now, this is the Zen range, and that's very soothing, isn't it, Jess? Yeah, it's great for calming the skin, giving the skin a lovely fresh glow, and Mary has a quite a busy, busy life. So mm. we need something that's going to fit into her daily routine Lovely. as well. So something nice and quick in the morning time. Yeah. And nice and skinny as well to put on your skin. You know, something that just, it just goes straight into your skin. It's very thin. It's great. Now, you've, this is your new palette. So you've it used this is. on the eyes. This is the long common new palette. But you know what I think is really cute about this? You can open this little box there. There's an extra kind of the uh, aquamarine shades and a grey as well. Very nice. Great, yeah. Okay, do you want to do a little, of use course, a little bit of that? Of so, so, very nice. You look straight ahead there now, she'll do her, do her what we've done magic. Is, we've just neutralised um, Mary's eyes, just using the lighter colour in the palette. And what we're going to use is we're going to use a mid-tone brown here. And we're going to, if you don't come to Mary, we're just going to pop this on the lid. Just oh, very nice, lid. I see you're giving it a bit of darkness there. Yeah, giving me just a little bit of shading. And then the buffing brush, just very, very gently, just blending all this right in. So the last quarter of the eye is what we're focusing on today. So we're just going to make the eye that look that little bit more wide-eyed, give her more of a, so more pop to the eye. Do you wear much makeup, Mary? I don't wear any. You don't wear any? No. Oh, but this is baptism of fire for you. But well, I think it's great that we're yeah. actually using then the tinted moisturiser as opposed to uh, the heavier foundation. And also, yeah. these shades, these are quite nude, so they would just enhance the eye rather than give it too much kind of darkness. Absolutely. And Mary, as I was saying earlier on, that Mary can use the darker shades for an evening time look if she wants to maybe yeah. smoke them up a little bit. She can incorporate the warmer colours as well. Now, you're going to use a mascara. Is this a uh, mascara, what is this, like a thickener? Yeah, it's like an eyelash primer. Okay. So we're just going to apply a little coat first of all to the lashes, then we'll apply the mascara afterwards and it'll adhere to it quite well. It'll give a little bit more length, a little bit more volume. Okay. So if you look down for me, Mary, so you're going to catch it from the root of the lashes in just a little wiggle. And so this through. is almost like, like also like a thickener as well for your lashes. It gives a false eyelash effect. Exactly, a little bit more volume as well to the lashes. Okay. So just one comb. Of course, Lancome uh, is known for its amazing oh, mascaras. Absolutely. And this, which one is this? The Hypnos. This is the Hypnos Star mascara. Ah, okay. So you're going to get a lovely separation, a nice natural look, but it is buildable. So if you look down again for Mary, okay. so it's a double-sided brush. So we're going to get a little bit of volume. But Mary right. can incorporate this into her daily routine, keep it nice and natural for day wear as well. Right. I think you'll have to go around to her house to put it on for everybody. <laughs> Jess, thank you very much. Thank and of course, so next much. time we see Mary, she will be dressed uh, all uh, beautiful clothes from Debenhams, and that'll be at the end of the show. But before that, I've been looking across my co presenter now. Now it's time to see how Mary Bourne, our makeover candidate, the very first of 2015, all the way down from Blaney in County Monaghan, and she has been in the hands of Jessica Barry from Lancome, uh, Pam from Sobe Brown and also Maria from Debenham. Okay, let's take a look at Mary when she arrived to us this afternoon. There she was in her typical attire, tracksuit and no makeup. And let us take a look at her now. Whoa! What a transformation! Come on out! Stand and take a look at Ben's camera there. I'm going to squish you a little further and here we get a perfect look at you. You look amazing. Doesn't she look amazing? Now Maria Selvin, of course, from Debenhams, is responsible for the beautiful outfit. And uh, we're going to start with that neck piece. It's lovely, isn't it? It's beautiful. It's um, 37 or 50. It's from number one by Jenny Packin. So it just picks up that little bit of navy blue in the dress as well, just to give it that other little bit of texture that is on the glitter and stuff like that. And the dress itself? 
dresses from Principles um, by Ben Delisi. So it's this gorgeous kind of painterly print, which is huge for spring, summer. Great. Um, it's a wrap. It's a four wrap dress. Four so it actually wrap. just oh, goes lovely. on the whole thing. You don't need to fuss around with any belts or anything like that. Right. But it just gives this beautiful shape. Mary just looks amazing in it. She does. I love the colours on her. And now you've got a lovely little clutch as you added for a bit of glitz. Exactly. So there's just little black crystals on the clutch. And um, the clutch is from debut. And it just ties in with the shoes, which are also from debut. So you have the little crystals on the bag. And then you have the little crystals on the peep toe shoes also. Lovely. And debut is one of your brands, of course, I do. Exactly. So they do a whole range of accessories, dresses, shoes, everything. Great. Mary, we will allow you to come back in so we can take a look at you. You look absolutely okay. wonderful. Are you thrilled with your new look? I am, yeah. I'm very thrilled. Oh, I, just, I just can't stop looking at you. <laughs> I mean, I have to say, the hair is great. I mean, Pam, you were inspired by the actress Annette Benning for the hair here, which is really, really lovely. It's beautiful. And the makeup. And you don't wear makeup at all, do you? No. You just should, that's all I have to say to you. If I had a special occasion, I would wear it, but yeah. that's it. I wouldn't even know how to put it on. Well, what's, yeah, well Jessica, Jessica well, look, a little demo after the show there again, yeah. Jessica. I have to say it's lovely because you've got lovely skin, and all Mary is wearing actually here is the beautiful long comb tinted moisturiser, and of course the lipstick is lovely. So it looks just divine and Thank really you. thrilled. You're going to be, is this the new you now going forward? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. definitely. <laughs> all right of course pam jessica and marie thank you all very well uh, very well very much today i should say a, a great makeover team that work with our lovely ladies uh, well done if you'd like more information on the clothes more information on the clothes of course dibnams.ie in the makeup as well now Dolly, what do you uh, feel we're both at the glen Cairn tonight are we the cousin yeah. lady yeah. <laughs> <laughs> drinks are on us our competition window will be down directly after the show so stay tuned for that now if you do have any stories that you think we should hear that maybe see them on the show do get in touch with us on our facebook page all the details are there of course that is rt today or email us today at rt.ie we'll see you on monday at half past four have a great weekend have Sloan. A see you Sloan.